What's happening guys? Today I'm going to teach you, bringing you another how-to home project from James Corey. Today I'm going to teach you a little quick tip on how to mix up a little bit of a easy sand five minute um, drywall mud. I am not a huge fan of the, the little purple ones if you don't have a lot of time. If you have, if you're going to do it, prep it out the day before and you paint the next day, no big deal. But today I needed to fix some holes fast so we can get paint on it. So I'm going to give you guys a little tip on what I do and how to mix up a little bit, keep it clean, keep it small and mix it up and get it on your wall. So here we go. So if you guys ever seen that, I don't know what the name of this thing is, but uh, I'm just going to mix up literally a little bit because I got a few spots I missed. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit of water. That was way too fast. There we go. Whoa, way too fast. <laughs> Whoa. All right. This is going to be like making, making uh, some ice cream or something. We're going to start getting the mix going on. And sometimes I actually use this little bucket that's under it. Looking a little bit too dry here. I'll make a bring a little bit more water in. Hopefully I don't spray my whole face again. So we just start working it in. Spreading it flat. Making a mess on the driveway. A few moments later. Turn it around. You want to get all the little dry particles in the water. Six and a half hours later. And you want to get to a nice usable consistency. Day two. Try to keep it on. A little hawk knife thing. And this is only five minutes, so it will harden up on you pretty quick. See how wet that is? That's too wet. So I'm going to just kind of work this in a little bit more, or I could add a little bit more powder. But you want to make sure you got all the little chunky parts out. Right. Enough! Stop it! And I'm going to also show you guys how I clean it up afterwards, too. You probably don't even need that much if you're just filling some cracks. And it should probably start hardening up a little bit now. I'm going to just wait it out and take it upstairs. All right, a little tip. Always clean up after yourself and make sure you keep your your bag uh, away from the water because then that's it'll harden up. So just kind of wash it off. So the consistency we want, it's getting there. See how it's not so runny? Yeah. Always use the edge, keep it off the edge, bring it in the center. All right, here we go. Oh, you just need a little bit on your knife. Where's that spot at? All right, here's one spot. That was easy. All right, so this is actually a, a, a screw that's pushed a hole out. So I'm gonna actually just Build that up. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm actually gonna make noise while the baby's sleeping. Cause that's smart. So here are my leftovers. As you can see, I don't have anything on the edges. Really always try working it to the middle. There it is, it's already getting hard. This is just five minutes. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to keep it clean so you can actually clean up in your wife's kitchen. I don't really suggest it if you guys want to live to see another day, but she's got dishes to clean over here anyways. Actually, we've got dishes to clean. So what I try to do is get all of it off, all of the edges, so that you can just take a little bit of water and clean it up. So that's it. It's a little bit of cleanup, and uh, that's how I mix a little bit of good mud that professionals use. Uh, that's going to hold up to the test of time and uh, you can get it, get to it pretty quick. A little sponge in 5, 10, 15 minutes and it's ready to paint. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Have a good time fixing those holes. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more funny 
how-to videos, please subscribe. Have a great day.